fine i missed you so much guys so 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 much but i am happy to be back here again welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will enjoy every content that i upload in this channel i promise you this <laughs> So dear friends, in our today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the important things that you need to know before you pay for a dating app. And I'm doing this video because I've been getting a lot of messages from my subscribers asking me, Bella, how can I pay on a dating app? Bella, would you advise me to pay for a dating app? <laughs> Others asking me, Bella, how would I know if a guy is paying on a dating app? So I'm going to be answering all that because when you are on online dating apps, you really need this information it's very very important never do anything on a dating app without having information because you are going to be doing things maybe the wrong way which will lead you not to find the one which will lead you be scammed which will lead you waste your time so that is why you always need information and i'm here to give you all the information that you want to know about online dating apps but before we jump into our today's video i would like to share with you this good news guys it is good news to me because i won a giveaway from one of my friends she is a content creator her youtube account name is jackie brem so you can go check her out and subscribe to her channel she has got very good content about lifestyle about makeup she cooks does different kind of videos you can also check her instagram page account where i won this giveaway <laughs> goes by the name of jackie underscore brand so she did this giveaway and the giveaway was the brush cleanser so she did this giveaway and i won guys after three days the package was here with me but i said i'm not going to unbox it alone i would like to unbox it with you so that we can see what's inside <laughs> yeah i won't take much of your time guys so let's unbox it <laughs> so guys this is the box yeah and i'm going to be opening it so let's open it i'm excited <laughs> Excited, excited, excited to see. I know what it is, but I haven't seen how it looks like because I never had one. I've been just seeing videos on YouTube, people like doing the reviews. <laughs> I'm happy that I won this. Oh my god. See the package. <laughs> Ooh, two and three. <laughs> so let's open one by one. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I think I'll need time to get to understand how it works. Wow! Electric facial cleansing brush do you see this guys <laughs> thank you Jackie <laughs> this is so beautiful wow 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 guys do you see <laughs> I love this okay so this is the first one Remember, we had three packages. What is this? <laughs> Socks. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> I never expected this because for me, 
me guys this is the giveaway that i won and i think this is this the whole set but there were three packages so <laughs> So these are yoga socks. Thank you. <laughs> so the second one, they are the yoga socks. You see? So three pairs. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. God bless you. <laughs> I love them. I really, really love them. So we also have a user manual and I know it is going to help me a lot <laughs> to find out how the brush works. <laughs> So guys, that was it about my giveaway and let's jump into our video now. Number one important thing that you need to know before you pay for a dating app, guys, you know, I've been honest with you and I'm trying as much as possible not to mislead you because I know if I mislead you, you are going to come after me. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> So that is why I am telling you the truth because the truth sets someone free. If you're going to pay for a dating app, it's not a guarantee that you will find a man right away. It's not a guarantee that you are going to find the one. No guys. So in that case, don't just go on a dating app, pay and then start chatting with men and think that all men are honest because they have paid. <laughs> No, don't think that way. You should take all the advice that I've been giving about online dating apps, about if a man is seriously interested in you, if a man is a player, how to chase away players. All the advice that I've been giving you, take them, apply them while you are on online dating apps, even if you are paying. You should watch those red flags. It's very, very important, guys. Don't just blind yourself and think that I have paid. I'm going to chat with men who are only serious because they have paid. <laughs> no, it does not work like that because even men who have paid can be players. And I'm going to be explaining more about this. So it's very, very important. You watch the red flags you watch how the man behaves towards you, you get to know how men from different countries behave, all that guys, even if you are going to pay for a dating app, you still need that information and you should apply it. Yes. <laughs> to add on that guys, if you are at a point, you are frustrated, you are desperate, you have given up, you don't believe anymore in the dating apps, do you know what I'm going to advise you? Don't choose an option of paying for a dating app, thinking that you are going to find a man quickly if you pay. No, <laughs> don't try to use that shortcut because it won't work and you will get frustrated the more. So my advice, if you are at that point, don't pay for a dating app. Take a break from the dating apps. Live your life, work, do everything that you would like to do in your life. Be happy with your life. If God brings the right man out of the dating apps when you are on a break, that's okay. That's very good. I'll be happy for you. If not, you can still come back after you have rested, after your mind is clear, after you believe again in love and you want to give it a try. <laughs> yes, but if you know you are frustrated, you are at the point of giving up, you don't believe in love anymore, you don't believe in the dating apps, don't pay. Because you paying doesn't mean that you're going to find the one. Number two important thing that you need to know before you pay for a dating app, please dear beautiful ladies, I've been talking of the research, 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 research. Unfortunately, I cannot research about everything for you. I can't. That's so unfortunate. I wish I could, but I can't. So you really need to research before you pay for a dating app. 
Remember, it's your money you are investing in. You really need to know how that dating app works. How do people talk about that dating app, the reviews? Are they talking good about it or they are talking very, very bad about it? Every time that I do a video about online dating apps, I always tell you about the reviews, overall scores. If it is 4.5, 3.5, 2, I tell you, I do that because it's very, very important to know how do people talk about that particular dating app. If I go to a dating app when I do my research and find out that people are talking very badly about it, I won't recommend it to you. I won't. If it has got very low overall scores, I'm not going to recommend it to you. So before you pay for a dating app, get to see how people are talking about that dating app. And after you have known that they are talking so good about the dating app, it has got good successful stories. Then number two is for you to find out how it works. And if you want to pay, I'm advising you, don't pay it. First, stay on the free version of it. Give yourself time to learn about how the site works. After you have known how to go around that dating app, then you can decide to go ahead and pay. But before doing a research, never pay for a dating app most of the dating sites do this even the other story that i shared about dating.com a lady who found the one on dating.com i told you that at first she lost a lot of money because she didn't know how it works and dating.com when you join they first give you a welcoming package so you pay less but in the coming month or in the next month they cut more <laughs> more than you paid before so if you have not done the research they're going to cut more money and you'll be like oh my god they have robbed me <laughs> it's not that they are trying to steal from you no <laughs> that's how it works so before you invest please do enough research of how everything works and for example again a site like datingapp.com give you credits it means that those credits means money so when you chat money goes when you read letters money goes when you see a video that a guy has sent you money goes and everything has got its own credits so a message can have only 10 credits but if a guy sends you a letter it may take 20 credits or 30 credits so you really need to know how all that works <laughs> if i chat how many credits if i'm going to receive letters how many credits if i'm going to respond how many credits if i'm going to send photos how many credits if i receive a video from a guy how many credits i'm going to be losing or using <laughs> it's so important otherwise you're going to pay for a dating app and then after two days or three days all your money is gone and you'll be very very frustrated but if you did enough research then that means you will know how to use those credits the right way so that you can find the one <laughs> number three important thing that you need to know before you pay for a dating app be aware of scammers guys <laughs> scammers don't only exist in the sites where it's free they also exist in the sites where you have to pay so that you can chat so be aware of them it's very important things have been happening guys it's very very sad guys whereby a lady is trying to find love and again being scammed so that is why it's so so important you be aware of these people and i'm going to explain to you how these scammers can be in these dating apps and i've got two categories one of the category you find that there are those dating apps 
which are very dishonest. They create fake profiles and behind those fake profiles exist men who are chatting with you but their mission is to chat with you to keep you on the dating app. Nothing more. It's not that these people are going to meet you. It's not that these people are going to have something serious with you. No, they are going to sweet talk you. They are going to tell you all beautiful words that you would like to hear and keep you chatting, keep you in a situation whereby you will chat with those guys for so long and in the end, you will be the one to decide to end the relationship because it will be too much for you to pay. <laughs> yes, those guys exist, so be very, very careful. Like I said in my first point, look at the red flags, don't ignore them. I advise you, if you chat with a guy not more than three months, you should know how you guys are going to meet when. He shouldn't tell you soon. I told you soon can even be forever. So you should know exactly when. Don't waste too much time chatting with a guy, telling you a lot of stories, telling you don't go and chat with other guys. I don't want to chat outside this dating app. We should keep chatting here. I'm not comfortable chatting on WhatsApp. He keeps you paying. So be aware of these men. Actually, yesterday we caught one. <laughs> one of these scammers, the story that I told you about dating.com, the girl that phoned love, if you remember, there was a guy who was a lawyer. He had a lot of stories telling this lady they chatted for eight months but they never met. It was story after story. My mother is sick, this, COVID, I'm in jail, I have a case. Guys, stories, stories, stories. In the end, God helped this girl. She found a guy who was serious. But imagine if she did not find a guy who was serious, it means she could have lost more money on this guy. And how did we catch this guy? Actually, guys, yesterday when I was planning to do this video, I talked to Margaret. You remember Margaret, <laughs> the success story I shared. So I talked to her and I wanted to know something about dating.com. So I asked Margaret to help me and she went back to dating.com, created a fake profile. And guess what? The lawyer came and started chatting with her again. <laughs> <laughs> so this lawyer I had suspected before that he was a scammer but yesterday was a confirmation I'll try to see if I can share the name that he uses on dating.com so that you can be aware of that so be aware of scammers guys on these dating apps even if you're going to pay even if that dating app is for people who pay only it's not that all men who are there they pay <laughs> some dating apps uses tricks to get money from people <laughs> another category which is the second category are the scammers that we know who are in all online dating apps or dating sites. These guys have got sweet, sweet words. Sometimes guys, they sound to be too good to be true. Yes. But you'll keep on convincing yourself because you need to find love. You want to find love. You say, maybe he is the one. Maybe God has answered my prayers. But please stay on that alert mode don't ignore the red flags last time i was helping a lady and i sensed something very fishy with a guy she was chatting with this guy could record himself the videos and send to the lady but something that i noticed is that the guy never mentioned the girl's name never talked anything about Africa. He was saying, hi there, how are you doing? Today I'm feeling very good, I'm at the gym. Then the next one, hi there, 
today is Friday so I'll be going out with my friends hi there how are you doing hope you're okay hi there how are you doing hope you're okay today I'm going to work I want to be working at home I'm going to the office hi there good morning it was all like that the guy never mentioned the girl's name if I am chatting with you if you're sending the videos to me you should mention my name even in one of those videos that you're sending me like hi Bella how are you doing hi my love Bella hi sweetheart Bella you know like that not just hi there how are you doing today it is very sunny on my side <laughs> talking to himself so what i thought guys about this guy he was sending all these videos to different ladies that is why he never mentioned of the location the girl is staying he never mentioned the girl's name scammer <laughs> be aware guys be aware of these people they are very very clever or you are chatting to a guy and the guy is talking about inheritance the guy is talking about the gold the guy is talking about money 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 the money that he has if you hear a guy bragging about his money be careful because i have one of my friends who has scammed two thousand dollars with a guy that she met online plenty of fish actually the site the guy lied to a lady that he had money that the parents left for him in egypt so he was supposed to go in egypt he went and i don't know if he went or he went just in the messages because <laughs> these guys can travel in messages <laughs> not in real life <laughs> so he traveled to egypt and started asking money from the girl that, that they're taking long to pay him so the girl sent money also the phone calls that they were doing all these phone calls were under the lady she got the bill after all it ended she got the bill of all the communication that they were doing so she was supposed also to pay for their communication after losing that two thousand dollars can you imagine guys can you imagine it's very very sad so be very very aware and last week <laughs> i got another scammer a girl was chatting with a guy living in america and the guy was telling the lady that i want to invite you in america i want to marry you <laughs> then i was like oh my god i've been telling these ladies that if a guy is serious is going to tell you i'm going to invite you so this guy is using the same thing to scam the lady so he was saying that i want to invite you so go and check how much money is needed so that you can come to the u.s the girl went and got the amount and told the guy <laughs> so after telling the guy the guy was like no because i have not met you yet i don't trust you enough i'm going to use another african lady so that this lady can use the uncle so we will send the money through the lady's uncle for your transport for your ticket and everything so when the girl talked to me i was like why use someone else the love is between you you and him <laughs> how is he going to invite someone that he does not even trust you know <laughs> i told her there is this thing of whereby ladies have been transported from africa to europe and they put them on the streets as prostitutes so i told her be careful but after she told me that the uncle of that old african lady who is in africa they sent him the money so the uncle was asking transport to go and take that money <laughs> that they have sent him so that they can start all the process the girl to travel to go to the u.s i told the lady scammers <laughs> because <laughs> they're going to be taking money 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 <laughs> if they really want to do that they are supposed to take all the bills on themselves yes <laughs> not asking you money i want transport to go and take the money from the bank or oh, today the bank does not work so i'll have to go another time you have to send me transport 
all scammers so be very very careful guys be aware of the scammers on these dating apps even if it is a dating app where you need to pay number four important thing that you need to know before you pay for a dating app dear ladies i've talked of this if you're going to invest your money don't go and chat with guys who have not paid and this is about the dating apps whereby you can use them free but also if you want more futures you are supposed to pay so if you pay chat with men who have paid don't waste your time on guys who have not paid because some of you have been telling me Bella I'm receiving messages but I cannot read them does it mean that I have to pay so that I can read those messages and this comes an answer where you asked me how would I know if a guy has paid on a dating app most of the dating apps guys I did my research if a guy has paid or if one side has paid it means that you can send each other messages most of the dating apps and if you don't want to pay for a dating app then keep chatting with guys who send you messages and you can read them who send you messages and you can respond to them that means they have paid that is number one way where you can know that a guy has paid if you see messages are coming you cannot open them you are on a dating app which has got both versions free and paid one then you know that the guy has not paid so you who wants to pay for me i would advise you to stay on a dating app that you only need to pay means that he is going to pay and you will pay that's fair but if you're going to decide to stay in these sites whereby you can stay for free but if you want more futures then you need to pay chat with men who have paid so second way to know if a guy has paid most of the dating apps you will see when you go on a guy's profile they show gold they show premium, they show platinum, they show silver or standard. Especially a site like Afro Introduction, if a guy has not paid, you will see standard. That means that you cannot even chat. If he sends you messages, you have not paid, you won't be able to read the messages, you just see them there. And that's when you're like, I should pay so that I can chat with him no girl you don't need to pay <laughs> so that you can chat with that guy who sent you a message and you can't respond no you should chat with guys who have paid because this is the way i think guys but again you are free to think the way you want to think because we can't think the same but i would never chat with a guy online who has not paid for a dating app if that dating app needs to be paid I'll never because if a guy is using a free version that means that he wants to play games for free that's how I think that's me guys <laughs> yes <laughs> so don't ever waste your time with men who have not paid on a dating app it's just the same with a guy who wants to see you but wants you to pay for his hotel wants you to pay for his dinner <laughs> it's just the same a man should be a man period <laughs> number five important thing that you need to know before you pay for a dating app prepare your mind mentally that it's a risk you are taking even if you lose that money don't think so much about it because it's a risk <laughs> yes it's a risky game <laughs> that's the truth so you should prepare your mind mentally that i am going into this it's a risky game i am doing and pray to god to help you <laughs> to find the one as you know in this whole thing it's all about taking risks yes 
And lastly guys, how can I pay on a dating app? If you have ever bought something on Amazon or AliExpress, that's the same process you are going to follow. One of my subscribers asked me, Bella, can I subscribe on a dating app or can I pay on a dating app without using my bank details? No girl, you can't. And when you are about to pay, just follow the steps. When you're about to pay, they give you the options of the cards that they accept. If your card falls into that category, then you go ahead and pay. There are some information they're going to ask you which are on your bank account card. So you will have to put your verification code there. All of this information is on your bank account card. It is just simple like that. But again, be very, very careful of the dating app. Like I said, do enough research before you invest your money, before you put your information about your bank account card. But that's the process on how to pay for a dating app. I hope you have understood me. If not, you can check me on Instagram at African Bella. Then I will direct you or I'll give you good explanation on that if you have not understood very well here. So friends, we have come to an end of our video. Thank you so much for watching it till the end or till now. I really appreciate much. God bless you. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you will learn a lot comment below what you think i would like to know until next time subscribe please if you haven't i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart Ciao, ciao.